Hello and welcome to the Glenbard Township High School College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer questions. My name is Jenny and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. However, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash glenbard. That's strivescan.com slash glenbard. I now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Loyola University Chicago. Alrighty, good morning everyone. It's an honor to be here today uh, to meet you all and also to be joined by colleagues from other great institutions. So my name is Brian. So I am the an admissions counselor for the Glenbard District. So I work with all the students coming from your um, high schools. I read all the applications and work with you all throughout the application process. So um, that's my contact information there if you ever want to get in touch with me uh, as you start your college search or complete your college search. So just a little bit about Loyola University of Chicago. That is our campus. That is not photoshopped. We are located right along Lake Michigan. So we have a fantastic location on the far north side of Chicago in the Rogers Park and Edgewater communities. So we have about 17,000 total students at Loyola. About 12,000 of those are going to be undergraduates. So the undergraduate experience is really at the heart of the Loyola experience. So we're the largest of the 27 Jesuit colleges and universities here in the United States. And so um, basically what it means to be a Jesuit institution is that we are a Jesuit and Catholic university. We welcome people of all faith or no faith for that matter. Only about 50% of our students actually identify as being Roman Catholic. So by doing acts of service, service and justice, by teaching our students to be globally aware, and by doing acts of social justice, all of our students are able to live out our Jesuit values every single day. Our average class size is about 25, 26. It shouldn't, shouldn't be too much different than what your high school classes probably currently look like. Um, access to your professors is pretty important to us as well. We have more than 80 plus undergraduate majors and programs in the fine and performing arts, humanities, engineering sciences, um, life sciences, and also social sciences. Lots of majors actually combine together and are in the interdisciplinary studies as well. 98% um, of our students are prepared to lead on extraordinary lives once they graduate, where our students were going to be either pursuing grad school education or we're going to be employed three months after graduating. So we are ranked by US News and World Report as being a top value institution. More than 675 employers um, posted specifically looking for Loyola jobs, um, Loyola students to fill their jobs at their universities. We are also ranked number 49 for undergraduate teaching by US News and World Report. So again, that undergraduate experience is really at the heart for preparing you for life after Loyola. We also have our two own international centers abroad. We have a campus in Rome and also a campus located in Vietnam. We also have more than 150 different partnership programs in 20, sorry, in 70 different countries. So lots of different ways for you to study abroad during your time as a student. So um, those are all on the left-hand side, all the schools and majors that make up Loyola University Chicago. So we have our College of Arts and Sciences, our Niehoff School of Nursing, our Partisan School of, Public, of Health Sciences and Public Health, as well as, as well as our Institute of Environmental Sustainability. So all of those majors are located at our right here. We also do have a downtown campus that's located in the heart of downtown Chicago, just a couple blocks away from Michigan Avenue, if you've ever been in that area. So right by all the good restaurants and shopping. And that's going to be for our schools of communication, education, social work, and business. Um, we offer 45 different unique opportunities to earn a, both a bachelor's and a master's within five years. So you're going to have two graduations, so your parents better get excited, um, where you earn a bachelor's degree in four years and stay one additional year to earn a master's degree. Um, I like to say that Loyola is kind of a work hard and play hard type of school today in just a couple hours. We are playing in the March Madness tournament against the Ohio State Buckeyes. So all of our students at Loyola get into all of our home games for free. So uh, school spirit is really important to us. We always come together to cheer on our teams. 
Lots of different ways to get involved though. We have more than 250 plus registered student organizations. We have 19 sororities and fraternities. Uh, Greek life is kind of a smaller thing at Loyola, only about 15. 1-5% of our students are going to be involved in, in social Greek life organizations and lots of ways for you to get involved with both intramural and club sports. So I like to say that like even if you put us in the middle of nowhere, like we'd be a pretty cool school to go to. But of course, you can double down on all the unique opportunities of living and working and studying in a, in a city uh, like Chicago. So finally, um, I urge you all to apply, you know, whether you are a senior who still needs to apply, we are still accepting applications. But for everyone else, the junior seniors, even those ambitious freshmen, apply to Loyola when you are a senior. So it is really easy to apply. We have a completely free application. So um, there's nothing, you're not going to lose anything. We're not going to charge you to apply to Loyola. Um, we, are common, we are hosted on the common application. I would say about 95% of our applications are going to be from the common app. So if you're making a common app, just go ahead and add Loyola to your list of schools. Um, you can also apply directly on our website. Um, that's for our Loyola specific application. And also you can apply on our coalition, on, on the coalition application as well. 98% um, of students receive some form of merit-based or need-based aid directly from Loyola. So almost the entire school is receiving some form of assistance. So definitely making Loyola affordable um, is a really important option and really important to us here at the university. And also we are ranked as a best value institution as well. For me personally, it's hard to quantify what this school means to me. You know, I think that the experiences that you will have at Loyola to study abroad, to live and work in Chicago, and to really serve our Chicago community are ways where I really don't think you can even quantify the type of experience that you're going to have at Loyola. So I thank you all for listening and I look forward to seeing your applications uh, next year. Thank you so much. And a reminder to all of our participants to use that Q&A function if you have questions for any of our schools here at any time during the presentations. Up next, we have John Cabot University. Yes, hello. Thank you, Jenny. And thank you everybody for um for being at this presentation. I'm here to tell you about an innovative idea about getting your, your whole university abroad. So I'm here to tell you about John Cabot University, which certainly will transform you, turn you into a global citizen, and also you can have your personalized experience. Um, why John Cabot University? So John Cabot is an American accredited Middle States uh, accredited university. It's accredited by Middle States, but it happens to be in Rome. It's a liberal arts university with a strong academic uh, focus on careers. We have, we're small, 1,300 students from 70 countries. Uh, classes are about 15 students per class. We have a lot of on-site classes. Over 80% of our students receive financial aid, and we have three campuses in the heart of Rome located between the Colosseum and the Vatican, and I'll show you. Um, a unique feature of John Cabot is that we have 50% visiting students from all over the world come and study abroad, and 50% of our students are degree-seeking, matriculating students, getting their full degree. So at John Cabot, you will make friends from all over the United States and all over the world and create networks that hopefully will be useful for the rest of your life. Rome. Um, Rome is the home of many major um, international companies and embassies. Our students get internships in many of these um, nonprofit organizations or international companies. It's a museum. It's a living museum. I don't know if you're aware, but 60% the world's art is located in Italy, and there are 51 UNESCO sites in Italy, 12 in Rome. It's very easy to travel from Rome because it's centrally located, and our classes are Monday to Thursday, which gives you ample time to travel. Here are just some pictures of our buildings, the inside of our buildings, the library, just to give you a full of Rome. Your academic experience, you will have an advisor who you'll meet even before you come uh, to Rome. We have, as I said, 15 students per class. We have a lot of support. You're not a number at John Cabot because we are so small and your professors know you by name. And we also have a lot of support with writing centers, tutoring labs, and foreign language resources. And yes, there are Italian classes that you can take at John Cabot. Here is a list of our majors and minors. Our most popular majors are in international affairs. 
And in, we also have a psychological science that is doing quite well at communications and international business. We have just added a minor in legal and um, gender studies. And we also have minors in legal studies, math, creative writing, entrepreneurship. We have over three career fairs per year. And many of our students, including American students, get internships in Italy with companies where you do not need to speak Italian. And I always tell students how great it is to have an experience like this on your resume. It certainly looks great. Campus life, just a few words about campus life. Um, as you can see here, I told you we're on, we're located between the Colosseum and the Vatican, and it's a 12 minute walk from the top red dot to the bottom red dot. So it's an urban campus on the banks of the Tiber River, and you can walk 20 minutes to the Vatican, 20 minutes the other way to the Colosseum. We have three uh, buildings with classrooms and three housing options. This is a photo of our Critelli campus, which is our newest campus and where we have administration and classrooms. This is a second building. This is a, it was an old convent it turned into a university. You have pictures on the upper, on the upper left of our library of the view of Rome, the courtyards. This is a picture of our Tiber campus where we have our student center. We have housing, as I told you, it's all very close to campus. It has 24 seven security and we provide all amenities. Since we do have students from all over the world, you do not need to bring anything other than your suitcase and clothes because we provide everything else. We have 22 clubs and organizations. I don't know if you wanna take a quick look at these. Our most popular ones are Model United Nations grassroots environmentalism, business club, art history club, and this brings our students together. This is a very good way of bringing our American students, Italian students, and international students together. Cultural programs, we take you throughout Italy. We have cooking classes, mozzarella, making trips is very popular. So in other words, you do learn Italian culture, Mediterranean culture, while you are outside of the classroom. So you do become a global citizen and you are certainly transformed. How to apply? Well, we are on the Common App and it's pretty standard. If you're a non-English speaker, we need English proficiency exam. But other than that, it's a Common App with the transcripts, letters of recommendation. And I strongly encourage you to follow us on our um, Instagram on Meet JCU Rome. And you can write to admissions at John Cabot for any further information. And um, I wanna thank you very much. Thank you. And up next, we have the University of Massachusetts Amherst. All right. Give me one second to open this up. Hello, everyone. My name is Dylan Davies. I'm an assistant director of admissions here at UMass. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our school today. So we are located, as the name suggests, in Amherst, which is one of the best places to go to college in America. It's about an hour 40 west of Boston, this beautiful space called the Pioneer Valley. We're about 20 minutes from all of the hiking and biking you could ever want, an hour or so from all of the skiing you could ever need. In addition to that, we are ranked as the number 26 public university in the United States this year. We are also have 100 plus undergraduate degree programs on our campus, 370 different research lab groups, we're actually what's called a Carnegie One Research University, meaning we have the highest level of research funding and activity of any kind of university in the country. There are only two in the state of Massachusetts that have more funding and more activity annually than us. They are Harvard and MIT, which is not a bad race at all to take the bronze in. Now, in addition to that, we have 300,000 alumni across the Commonwealth country and the world, and the number one campus food and dining services for six years running. All of you can go to school wherever you'd like. You will not eat better anywhere in the United States than at UMass Amherst. It's just a fact, and it's one we're very proud of. Now for the fun part of college, academics. We have 10 different schools and colleges here. We don't have enough time in six minutes to go over all of them, but I want to talk about some of our more competitive programs that house about 30 of our 90 plus majors. They are business. The Eisenberg School of Management is the number one public business school in New England. It is a little bit more competitive than most of our slots with about a 35% acceptance rate. Engineering, which is a little more competitive as well at 38%. Computer science, which has a 33% acceptance rate. 
and nursing. All of these programs look for students with between a 3.9 and a 4.3 weighted GPA on our scale. They are all test optional next year for juniors. Sophomores will see. Beyond those, for those of you who aren't quite sure what you want to do yet or aren't interested in those, we have a couple other things to offer here. One is our exploratory track programs, which is our version of undecided. So if you do not know what you want to do yet in college, you can apply to one of these programs and there are a couple benefits as opposed to a general undecided. One is registration priority. So if you don't know what you want to do yet and you want to pick, I don't know, sciences and go to the College of Natural Sciences, you will have spots reserved as an undecided student for you in our intro classes, whether you want to do biology, astronomy, physics, you will not get bumped out of any class by a junior or a sophomore trying to take an elective. The other great thing as an undecided exploratory student at UMass is that you will have an advisor with you until you pick a major that will sort of guide you through that process and make sure that whatever you end up choosing, even if it's in a different college than what you apply to us in, you will still be on pace to graduate in four years. You do not want to go from the four-year plan to the 5.5-year plan. It's a pain in the neck and it gets quite expensive. Now, the last really interesting thing that we have here on the academic side is this thing called BDIC. It's a bachelor's degree with an individual concentration. It is one of the oldest build your own majors programs at any public university in America. It's kind of like the farmer's insurance commercials. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. If you can sit down with one of our academic advisors and coherently explain what it is you want to study at UMass, we can build that program here. And we probably already have. There are only three exceptions to it. One is aerospace engineering. We do not have rocket scientists on staff. Another is marine science. We're nowhere near an ocean. Finally, pharmacology. Other than those three things, if you can dream it, we can build it here at UMass. And once again, we probably already have. Now, getting away from campus, there are a couple different ways you can study away from UMass. And we say study away because we don't just send students abroad. We send them all over the country as well. We are part of this thing called the Five College Consortium, which is one of the most unique ventures in all of higher education. We have four wonderful neighbors, Amherst College, Smith College, Mount Holyoke, and Hampshire. And after your first year at UMass, you are able to take up to two classes per semester at any of these small private liberal arts colleges at no additional cost. Transportation to and from are free through this network called the PVTA bus system. And if you want to join a club on any of these campuses, you can as well. This means that if you are looking at taking a hard class first semester sophomore year, and you want to take it in a smaller section than our average of 35 students. You can log on, look and see, oh, Amherst College is running that class and it has a cap of 15. I'm going to sign up for that instead. If you want to get a little bit farther away than the Pioneer Valley, we also have a domestic flagship exchange program, which is truly excellent and sends students to places like the University of Montana, the University of Hawaii, where we currently have 19 students. University of Texas, Austin, and so forth. And if you want to do the traditional study abroad route, we have that too. We have UMass in programs on six different continents. And if you are looking at a program to a country or city that we don't run, we will call up other institutions or third-party providers and help get you on a program that works for you financially, credit-wise, and safety-wise. We always make sure that where our students are going is safe, and we make sure that you don't wind up four credits behind if you do a UMass out program and seven UMass in. Now, career services is one of the most important things you will deal with in college. And you won't notice it at first your freshman year as you're guiding around. But as you start looking for jobs, internships, co-ops, et cetera, you will rely on these people. At UMass, we have eight different career service centers to make sure Whatever college you're in, you have people that know your major and they know the field that you want to work in, who can give you the best possible advice as you try and navigate the internship and then the job hiring process. We set up fairs on our campus to make sure that if you are, say, a business student, you don't walk into a place where everyone's looking to hire engineers. Or if you are an art history student, you don't walk into a place where everyone's looking to hire accountants. We also have a wonderful online platform called Handshake that connects our students with 20,000 different opportunities per year. 1,309 different employers hired our students last year, and 81% of our students overall were in a job or grad school within six months. Am I running low on time here? We're just about out, sorry. All right, so 
since we're going to get cut short here, uh, if you all want to continue this conversation with me and hear more about UMass, I'm actually going to be around Chicago the next month. I will be at Glenbard South on March 21st, which is Monday, actually. I will be at West shortly after that. I will be at Glenbard East on April 5th. And if you miss me at any of these places, I'll also be at the College Fair at Lyons Township High School, which is on April 6th. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I see some questions in the Q&A, so keep them coming. If you have questions, participants, please put those in the Q&A at any time, and we'd be happy to answer them. And up next, we have University of Dayton. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We're so happy to share information about the University of Dayton with you. Um, as many of you are, I'm sure, are familiar with the city of Chicago as a, as a city of neighborhoods. And at the University of Dayton, um, we are very well known for our student neighborhoods and our strong community within those neighborhoods. So we are a top tier Catholic research university committed to a diverse and inclusive environment. The University has made a strong commitment to become an anti-racist university that is permeating throughout the campus community. So everyone from uh, faculty, staff, and students are all engaged in this process and actively working towards becoming an anti-racist university. Um, we do educate the whole person by linking learning and scholarship with leadership and service. We have a strong commitment to service and social justice. Um, similar to Loyola, about 50% of our student body reports to be Catholic. Um, so we do have students of all faith backgrounds represented and one of the largest campus ministry departments on a college campus. So they do serve students of all faith backgrounds, provide a variety of service opportunities as well as retreat opportunities um, for you to engage in um, should you be interested in doing so. Um, a lot of great um, education, uh, academic opportunities. Um, we do offer over 80 academic programs in four schools, um, probably most well known for engineering, business, and the health sciences. We did add a nursing program not too long ago. Um, that is by far our most competitive program. So students do need to apply no later than November 1st um, in your senior year to be considered for that program. Um, but really fantastic opportunity to partner with another college in Dayton called St. Clair College, which does have the, have the top nursing program in Ohio. Um, we are located in Dayton, Ohio and Southwest Ohio, um, roughly five and a half or so hours um, from your area. Um, so not too far. Um, the greater Chicagoland area is our largest market outside of Ohio. So we do have a large number of students that come from um, the area every year. And I'm actually a regionally based um, recruiter for the University of Dayton. Um, and I do live in the city of Chicago and recruit um, all the Glenbard schools as well. As I mentioned, over 80 major programs in four schools. Um, if you, all the programs are direct admits, you can indicate on your admission application the program you want to be reviewed for. Um, if you're unsure, you have multiple interests, we do offer our undecided program called Discover. Our most general Discover program is called Discover Arts in the College of Arts and Sciences, um, which gives you a, an opportunity to explore across all four schools. Um, if you're leaning business or sciences or education, engineering, we do offer a Discover program in every college or school. So, you would have the opportunity to be a little more focused and say just explore the business programs and have a business advisor, for example. Um, and then hopefully by your second year, you're ready to apply directly into a more specific program. A um, lot of great opportunities for interdisciplinary work, double majors, um, things of that nature as well. Um, so obviously a huge focus on academics um, at every university, including Dayton. Um, but we're also a home for you. So there's gonna be a lot of great things happening on our campus. We have a really active and engaged campus community um, with over 80% of our student body living on campus. Um, and that's primarily because the university owns about 400 houses on campus in our student neighborhoods. So as a junior, senior student, you're gonna have an opportunity to live in one of those houses with several friends, across the street from friends, next door to friends. Um, it's a really unique and special way to have that um, or sort of finish out that residential experience in college and then not yet having to deal with landlords and trying to figure out how to split your electric bill between several people. Um, you can deal with that later, right? I'm sorry, skip that slide. Um, we do have nearly 300 clubs and organizations on campus. Uh, we are division one for varsity sports, probably most well known for basketball. Um, we offer over 30 club sports, which are competitive. So they do compete against other schools club teams as well as a huge intramurals program like on most college campuses. 
We do offer Greek life. About 20% of the student body participates in Greek life. And then our multi-ethnic education and engagement center provides support for our historically underrepresented student population. Um, but really for all students through cultural events, um, service programming, social justice programming, and a variety of other ways. Um, about 20% of our student body does come from a historically underrepresented population, and that would include our international students. Um, we do have about 40 states typically represented and nearly 60 countries, so fairly geographically diverse. Um, our students are very successful, um, even in sort of the challenging year that 2020 was a couple years ago now, um, our success rate was about 93%. We're really proud to say that that number is back up with our very resilient class of 2021 at 97%. So within six months of graduation, 97% of our graduates are um, in a full-time position doing graduate work or uh, doing service work. So, and our knowledge rate on that, which means how well we know this information is accurate is about, um, is over 80%. So really strong rate. We're still very connected with our graduates um, and they're still very engaged with us and wanna share with us all the great things that are happening in their lives after graduation. Um, we do have a great career center as well that I encourage all students to connect with. Um, and then we do have a strong alumni population in the greater Chicagoland area as well. Um, they recently started a career fair here in the Chicago area for students from this area. Um, so in your junior, senior year, as well as right after graduation, you had opportunities to connect with employers um, in the greater Chicagoland area. So really strong connections back home as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, we do freeze our net tuition over four years. So you won't see a tuition increase while you're a student at the University of Dayton. Um, just a quick peek at our applications. We are test optional forever and ever. So you will not have to send test scores if you don't want to. Um, and I really hope you'll come check us out. We have a lot of great visit opportunities at the University of Dayton. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of our schools here today. And thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. We appreciate getting to know more about all of your institutions today. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. So we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Um, we encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions that are happening today. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash glenbard. That's strivescan.com slash glenbard. Thank you so much. Have a great day and best of luck on your college search.